Hey everyone, this is Joe Lay Miracle Man and another episode of God and Money. This is episode three and today's topic is going to be about mortgages. So my goal is to show transparency, to do some education, and ultimately I want you to be able to choose your interest rate, but to make a wise and educated choice. So a lot of customers don't know, but you can actually choose your interest rate. Now many lenders will not go into this. Um, you do need to have a certain level of education to be able to make the right choice. Of course, I guide my clients, I make my recommendations, but ultimately I want you to you know, empower you to be able to choose your interest rate based on your specific situation. So, you know, this is kind of news to a lot of people that most interactions, the loan officer says, here's your interest rate, here's your closing costs, this is how much money you need to bring to close if it's, you know, a purchase, and that's it. But I'm actually going to go into how to choose your interest rate. I believe in, you know, radical transparency, and I just, I want to show you my screen here. So, okay. So first, I want to look at a competitor. So I have US Bank here. Um, you can certainly go to, you know, any bank online and they usually post interest rates. Of course, here you would go to, you would click on mortgage and refinance, today's mortgage rates. Now, just lately, there's been a lot of volatility in these numbers. So, and I'll, I'll go into that a little bit first, but here's what you want to look for. Well, notice that, you know, this is very, you know, a very visually appealing website, very simple, kind of nice to look at. Um, so, you know, I, keep in mind, I have a marketing degree from the Carlson School, so I kind of studied this stuff. But you can see here, okay, so you need a FICO score of 740 plus, and it's for a single family home as your primary residence. All those things factor into the interest rate. You can see here there's like six different ways to click and interact with and engage with a loan officer there. Um, so, you know, so just, you know, their goal is to get you to engage with them. Uh, but you can see here, okay, 3.5 on a conventional rate mortgage. That's, that sounds awesome. Again, click here, click here, click here, and you can interact with them. Uh, you got, well, adjustable rate mortgage is probably not the best thing right now. Uh, higher interest rate plus the adjust, so that doesn't make sense right now. FHA, okay, you got that. 3.75, sounds pretty decent. But let's scroll down, oh, and then of course VA, so 4.25. But I wanna scroll down to the fine print. Um, you know, so this is where the average consumer will not go into this. So I want, I want to educate, I want to teach you what to look for. Okay, Minnesota residents, to guarantee a rate, you must receive written confirmation as required, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, then any such offer, okay, so that makes sense. Um, this is not a credit decision or commitment to lend, your guaranteed rate will depend on various factors, including loan product, loan size, credit profile, not just credit score, but credit profile, property value, geographic location, occupancy, and other factors. So a lot of factors go into interest rates. Right? Now we have this here, um, conforming rates are for loan amounts not exceeding 510, uh, 510,000. 400 and and this is for minnesota uh annual you know so the apr calculation is based on estimates included in the table above now here's kind of the here's the fine print so with borrower equity of 20 percent that plays a role um borrower finance charges of so borrower paid that's you finance charges of so 0.862% of the base loan amount. And that's not the whole story. Plus origination fees, if applicable. Is a loan being originated? Yes, it is applicable. The industry average for origination fees is 1%. 
So some places are lower, some places are more. But, you know, so keep that in mind. So, so far we uncovered 1% plus 0.862%, okay? Uh, if the borrower equity is less than 20%, then mortgage insurance is required, which, you know, that's, that's a normal, you know, Fannie Mae thing. Um, so, and you have other, you have other things here. Let's see, we got FHA loans, assumes this loan, this base amount, there's this upfront mortgage insurance. Yeah, so that's kind of a small loan amount and a small upfront mortgage insurance because, you know, or otherwise it's gonna affect the APR. Um, let's see, 3.5% borrow, okay, that looks good. Okay, we still have the same borrower paid finance charges plus origination fee. Okay, so now we kind of know that, that's the point I wanted to make. Let me go into how we look for interest rates. So, um, okay, before I dig into here, I want to say that the scope of this episode is not about the mortgage rate market. If you want to learn more about that and what goes into that, go to my website, joelaymiracleman.com, click on education tab, and then scroll down, well, right, right away, the first video, how to predict mortgage rates. This is a real screen share video where I go into five different factors that uh, affect the mortgage rates and how I was able to successfully predict when interest rates were gonna increase um, or decrease for that matter, but in this particular case, increase, and I saved my average client $3,000 in closing costs in one day. So anyways, um, so you, know, you wanna be working with a mortgage professional that has a good pulse on the market and that can, in a sense, uh, make an educated prediction of mortgage rates. Now, I admit I cannot predict the future, though I've been accused of that, but I cannot predict the future, uh, just a disclaimer there. But there are, trends and indicators that um, are pretty persuasive and accurate. So anyway, so watch that video, but that's not the scope of today's episode. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a couple terms here. There's, I'm gonna have a little calculator on the side um, that I, you know, to do some math. So, so par for us is 102.75, and that includes the lender comp. Um, so now let's say, okay, so they were saying the max was 510. So let's just, I don't know, like, let's say it's a $500,000 purchase and 80% LTV, meaning you have 20% down payment. Now I know most people probably won't have this, but to kind of compare apples to apples, you know, with what we saw at the US Bank website, and then a, six, uh, a 740 credit score, now DTI, I didn't say much about DTI, but let's just assume, okay, 40, you know, 43% back end DTI, 30 day lock. Um, let's see, so we have a conforming loan, so conventional loan, uh, again, we saw that it's a single family residence, detached home, um, so, you know, a, just a single family attached would be like a town home, where it's attached to another unit. But okay, owner occupied purchase. Uh, I'm just selecting a Hennepin County zip code here, Plymouth area, and I'm gonna hit submit. Now, a couple of things I want you to notice is how, because I'm a broker, I can shop many different companies, and you'll you know and you'll see that here. So this sorts by the highest, you know, this sorts by um, it puts the highest ranking on top, so the lowest interest rate on top. So we see Flagstar, great company, you got 11 mortgage. And you know, as we go down, it's gonna get worse and worse. So obviously we wanna look at the top. Mid-Island, town mortgage, that's used to be town and country, very large company you may have heard of. NMSI, okay, LD Wholesale, that's Loan Depot. So, you know, well-known company, a lot of advertisements, turns mortgage, um, guarantee home. So you'll see some names repeated because they have different loan products at that company. 
Finance of America, JMC Lending, AM West, ARC, PRMG, United Home Mortgage, ARC, uh, REMN, PCF. I mean, there's a lot. Blue Point, Cardinal, Penny Mac, very well known. Uh, let's see, Franklin Mortgage, Plaza, Mid Island. So if you have a mortgage now, you might be, oh, I'm with Penny Mac, or oh, I'm with you know Cardinal or something. Loan Depot. Um, let's see. So Land Home, that's a pretty big bank here in Minnesota. Let's see. First Guarantee, Quicken, obviously. So Quicken, Rocket Mortgage, a lot of advertising. They're here, but notice how far down they are on here. So for this particular day, um, I do got to say that, you know, these rates change every day and things internally with the lender can change. Um, a couple weeks ago, lenders were just super swamped. So that specific lender would jack the, the rate way up to avoid, you know, other people from applying. So, you know, uh, luckily because I shop so many different banks and lenders that when 95% of lenders were close to 5% interest rate on a conventional loan, like what we're looking at now, I had a, a handful of lenders that were below 4%. So, you know, I could, I could lock my client in at a 1% lower interest rate than what 95% of lenders were. So that's one of the advantage of having many different, you know, lenders to work through. Uh, let's see. So we'll keep going. Caliber, Home, Freedom, Mortgage. Okay. Mr. Cooper is a well-known one. But yeah, their pricing is terrible down there. And that's just for this moment in time. So these can change at a whim. You know, so what Flagstar looks the best for this scenario, a different lender might look better for a different scenario and on a different day. So things just, you know, it's very fluid. It's very fluid. Okay, so, all right, now I'm gonna go a little deeper and I'm gonna click into this rate and that's a fantastic rate. You already see that it's in, that it's a eighth of a percent lower than what we saw, but there's more to the story. Now remember, um, you know, the, the rate that we saw had 1.862% in fees. The rate that you're looking at here has zero extra fees because the par is 102.75. In fact, you're going to get like uh, 15 or 1.5 basis points in a credit. So you get a little bit extra money back instead of, you know, paying money, you're going to get some money back. Okay, but let me just tell you what that means. Okay, so back here, we saw that that. 0 0.862 plus the origination. Okay, let me just explain what that means. Uh, let's say your loan amount is 400,000, like in this scenario. Well, 1% of that is $4,000. And then 400,000, so that's the origination fee. Now, sometimes if you have the right, you know, relationship, you can get this waived. So definitely ask. I waive it. So, you know, if you're watching this video, mention that and I will waive your 1% origination fee. So save you $4,000 right there. If you text episode three to 612-559-7709 and give me your name, the next time you do a mortgage with me, I will waive the 1% origination fee. The other part was that discount point of 0.862%. So that's not quite 1%, but it's close. It's 3,448. Now add that with the $4,000. That means in addition to your down payment, in addition to normal closing costs, you're gonna have extra closing costs of $7,448. Now, you know, it's not like it's, un, it's not like, I mean, they're disclosing it right here. It's plain in sight, in writing, but most people don't look at the bottom of the websites. And, you know, it's not like illegal because it's disclosed. Now, I wonder, you got this big white space right here. 
why why isn't it there why isn't it more transparent why isn't it more obvious oh okay to get this 3.5 percent rate i need to pay possibly seven thousand four hundred dollars extra in addition to title and taxes and escrows and you know uh, all that stuff why isn't it in this big white space that is here so it, that's my question you know um you can make you can make a judgment on that if, if you wish but okay so back to here let me dig a little deeper so you already see the interest rate is an eighth lower than the posted but that's actually going to save you seven thousand four hundred dollars in closing costs and you get an eighth percent lower interest rate okay but let's say if we kind of matched so let's say what if we did go 1.8 percent lower than par okay so again seven or 102.75 that's par and let's just say that okay joe you know i have tons of money i want a lower interest rate so what if i had to pay the seven thousand four hundred dollars and discount point and origination. What kind of rate could I get then? Okay, okay, Mr. Buyer, let's say you have 7,400, you can kind of invest into your future interest rate. Okay, let's uh, subtract that. So we're gonna subtract 1.862. So now we're looking for pricing. Okay, the, now this is a mortgage term. The customer always asks about rate. So you see rate right here on this, you know, on the left column here. In the middle, you see net price. So loan officers talk about price. Um, so if you have like a loan officer friend, or if you're in a mortgage, if you're in process right now, um, if you ask your loan officer, say, hey, you know, what's the price of my interest rate? They'll be like, whoa, where, where, did you, where did you go to loan officer school, you know? So I'm not trying to make you a loan officer, but hey, I'm trying to give you some education. Um, and by the way, if you are in loan, if your loan is in underwriting, let me have a second look at it. I can probably save you like $7,000 plus an eighth in interest rate. But anyways, um, let's keep going here. So we have so we're looking for 100.888 and we get to right here 100.879 so you'll have to pay like 0.1 percent of a percent so it's like i don't know like 50 bucks or 90 bucks or whatever extra so you can get three percent okay so if you were willing to pay the same fees that you would you know potentially have to pay at say US Bank or whatever bank, if you're willing to pay that 7,400, then you could get a 3% interest rate with me at Flagstar today. You can see the date, April 17th, 10, 16 was when this pricing was pulled. Okay, um, so now let me go, let me kind of change some things. Let me go a little deeper and then after I do that, I want to show you other loan scenarios that, okay, so let's say your score, your credit score wasn't 740, or what if it was um, an FHA loan or a VA loan? So we can look at that too. Uh, one thing I do want to caution is sometimes pricing changes so fast that Flagstar or these lenders don't have time to update what, you know, what amount they're showing. So, uh, my job is to verify the rate. So I would go into Flagstar, log in, and confirm that that is the updated, you know, to the minute interest rate, and then lock in. So, but sometimes if things are moving too fast, I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to capture rate, but then, oh, you know, it changed. And then we would shop, reshop, and see who's, who's the best lender right now. And then, of course, I, you know, I'll give my clients the option, do you want to float the rate or lock the rate based on, you know, education and, and kind of soft predictions of the future.